Hello everyone. So today I was looking at my rules, automation rules on my test instance of Jira. I have one instance of Jira where I just uh, create these rules and whenever I have to try anything new, I do it on this instance. Especially now when uh, we have a lot of uh, apps that are now free. So on this instance, I was looking at the rules and I thought I'll probably show you the usage of automation rules and uh, you might be using a Jira free cloud instance or maybe you are using Jira paid version, standard version where you're paying for your, uh, you know, Jira instance based on number of users. In all the cases, you have to basically worry about uh, the rules execution. Um, you may have a lot of executions that you can do, but still your performance, your Jira, Jira instance performance can be impacted. So let us take a look at uh, the usage of my Jira instance, uh, especially the rules. So first of all, if you have uh, rules, then try not to keep them enabled all the time. I mean, of course, you know, if you're trying to do something on a regular basis, let us say you have a scheduled job or something that you want to do regularly, then of course, you know, you need to keep the rules enabled. But especially if you have a global rule, rule which is impacting multiple projects or basically all the projects, be careful about them because uh, not only there can be a performance impact, but at the same time, your uh, executions will, uh, I mean, the, the rule, whenever the rule is triggered, it will count towards the execution, especially if it is a global or multi-project rule. So if you look at my instance of Jira, I do have a lot of rules, but most of them, especially the glo especially the glo global rules, they are always uh, disabled unless I'm trying to do something for sure. So apart from the rule uh, that you can disable or enable based on your need, do take a look at the audit log because uh, your audit log will tell you what is happening with your rule. Now, the thing with the rules is that uh, if you have limited number of executions, especially in my instance, because I am using a free Jira Cloud instance, I have only 300 executions left. And if you notice, I have only used one this month. And uh, the reason is that I'm, of course, a bit careful about uh, my rules and the execution. So whenever you have a rule which is uh, triggered, the rule might not be doing anything, but still the rule is uh, triggered, then it will count towards the execution. So if you look at uh, this particular uh, um, rule, so by looking at the rule, I mean, by, by looking at the, not the rule, but the log itself, you can figure out or you can actually keep an eye on what is happening in your uh, Jira instance, how many rules are getting triggered, although it may not be uh, doing anything. For example, this particular rule, uh, which is scheduled transition, it is a global rule and uh, it is uh, it, it was triggered because there was a transition and uh, nothing happened because maybe there was a condition. So when you when you trigger a rule or when you when you create a rule with uh, like, let us say those you know triggers, those events that you can define in the beginning, make sure you are limiting the scope and you're trying to limit the scope to the projects that you want or the condition that you want so that uh, you don't have a lot of rules that are going to you know just trigger every now and then they might not be do doing anything but still those rules can potentially uh, count towards the execution so if you look at uh, the audit log then uh, you will get a very good idea about what is happening and of course you know in the audit log you can take a look at the messages here where uh, there might be there might be an error and you want to know what actually went wrong because sometimes you may have rules that are getting triggered and uh, they are supposed to do something but they are still counting towards your execution without doing anything or maybe with some error in the output so basically it's a waste of time or i should say um, it is uh, a bit sad that uh, you are not utilizing the automation rules uh, properly. So if you take a look at the usage 
this is of course uh, something that is really interesting because not only you can see the usage where you can see for each and every application how many executions you have for example in my case i have uh, 300 executions for uh, all three applications jira work management jira software and jira service management and if you if you click on the view plan tab or button you will be taken to this page where you can see um, based on different plans what exactly you're going to get in terms of uh, automation so you can see here that for the automations it says uh, customers on free and standard plans have access to a limited monthly trial auto allotment of global and multi project rule 100 and 500 per month respectively premium users have 1000 global and multi project rule and so on so basically uh, do take a look at it and of course you know your usage uh, here will be displayed and if you if you look here i have of course uh, I'm, I'm a bit careful about my rules because if i have to show you something and i need to make sure that i have executions left and also the usage in the last 30 days can be really useful because uh, you want to know about specific rules or some rules that are actually um, counting the most towards your uh, execution limit so if you look here i have uh, two rules mainly the first one is create issue and update request type so this is actually counting towards my um, execution uh, of you know my limit and i want to make sure that uh, it is uh, either disabled or i'm limiting it so that okay right now it is actually enabled so it is uh, of course not really a great thing so let me disable it and uh, if you look at if you look at the you know rule detail or i should say you know uh, when you look at the trigger make sure this trigger is also not really doing it or going to impact each and everything across multiple projects uh, for example right now my rule is impacting two projects and that is why it is going to uh, appear here in the list because it is getting uh, executed multiple times and uh, keep an eye on this so that you know what what all rules you have that are uh, you know getting triggered without any reason i mean i'm sure there is a valid reason if you in the beginning if you are planning your automation you may not always uh, be aware of uh, how to create the rules and how to limit the scope but uh, if you do these things on a regular basis like uh, keeping an eye on the audit log keeping an, keeping an eye on the usage and also you know this execution limit that you have then i think it will uh, ensure that uh, your jira is uh, not causing any performance issues i mean you you, you don't really want to um, i mean imagine that you have a lot of Jira users and they are trying to do something in Jira because people use Jira for their work. And if it is slow, then it is, of course, not a nice thing. And that is our responsibility as Jira administrators to make sure that Jira is not only up and running. Of course, it is cloud, so it will, it will always be up and running. But uh, if you have so many automation rules doing a lot of things, then uh, there might be a perf performance issue. So that, that is all I wanted to talk about in this video and uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye